two, one. Ah, we're back. Welcome back, everybody. I have my special guest, Mr. Jalen, for this live oh, thing, and his buddy. friend. Tell us about Junior your friend. Max. Who? Junior Max. This is his name. Oh, Junior what kind Max. of cat is he? I do not know. Uh, it's my sister's cat. Oh, wow. Absolutely. Gosh, you know, did I tell you my story about cats? <laughs> they hate me, except for two of them. All cats try to attack me. Yeah. I don't particularly know why. But uh, <laughs> this one's so calm. I don't know. How do you get cats to be so calm with you? Well, I think this one's a little slow because he kind of acts like this with everybody. Look at him. Look at his face. <laughs> he kind of looks so lost. Oh, poor Max. Crazy. Well, oh. there's, uh, to, there's another crazy story is that inside this house right now, there's four other cats. I just didn't know where they're at. How big is your house? Not that big. It's still one story. It's just, it's just a whole bunch of cats. That's all. Oh, look, here's one of them right here. Do they, all get al- do they all get along with each other? Uh, Yeah. Oh, how cute. Look at these cats, this is, everybody. This is looks Simba. Like, looks like Garfield. His name is Simba. <laughs> Simba, come here. <laughs> Simba, come here. Gosh, they're all kind of, they're all just like, uh, what should we call it? They're all just like tired. <laughs> just relax. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they do this all day. Look at, now he's in the window. <laughs> oh gosh, I wonder. Hopefully, though, if I ever see those cats, hopefully they won't try to attack me. That's that's. It. They probably won't. They'll probably run from you because they're they're really scary. Oh jeez. So you are in California, sir. Yes, sir. But the people don't know that you actually live in Nevada. Yeah, I live in Vegas. Unfortunately. Crazy. So how do you feel about this? What's happening with this virus? Um, it's kind of crazy, but you know, I'm trying not to like. I don't want to panic because I there's no reason to panic. I don't think nobody should be panicking. Um, so, are you scared of getting this virus? Not necessarily, no, because you know, the chances of me dying from it are really low. So I'm not, you know, too worried about true. it. If I, if I get it. I'm just going to go through the recovery process and they, that's that. But I'm not going to be like, oh, my God, coronavirus. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> but, you know, I don't think how, that's necessary. How, uh, what you call it? Uh, do you feel about it, just everything being closed? I mean, I particularly do not like that. That I don't stuck like. stuck in the house. I think um, it's, you know, yes, it's unfortunate because, you know, it makes things a lot boring. But... I also think it's just a way of uh, slowing down the virus, you know. And it's like oh, yeah, the sooner helps. the sooner the sooner the, the virus is isolated or done with, then the sooner things will start opening back up and things will just go back to normal. Exactly, exactly. Like yeah, yeah. And <laughs> luckily, knock on wood, we're all healthier. Everyone right. I know is healthy. Well that's nice. Um but also, what the people don't know is this virus ruined your plans. Yes. Didn't it? You yes, came it out did. here from Vegas specifically to go to Magic Mountain for your sister's birthday and Disneyland with your girlfriend. And guess what, folks? The weekend he came out, the weekend is the weekend of being shut down. And yeah. I had plans to do a video with him. And we yeah. couldn't do it. Very disappointing. Um, did you get that yeah. pass that you wanted, or did you were getting the ticket for Disneyland? Um, we didn't even end up buying it because we, you know, we're still indecisive on what we're gonna do. Um, we have figured we're just gonna um, because I'm coming back out here in May, so I figured, you know, I'm just gonna we're just gonna go that time because you know it was coming just too back expensive. in May, you might as well just yeah. stay. It's May. Well, yeah, you know, <laughs> with this going on, I might as well just stay, but like. <laughs> I'm just, the plan was because at first things were just going to be opening up by at the end of March, so we figured mm-hmm. you were just going to come back in May and just mm-hmm. go then. But with the way things are going, I mean, hopefully, I don't I don't really know the state of the virus. 
I don't know if things are going to be opening back up or it's just going to get worse. So. Man, yeah. Well, hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully by May it's um, um, better. You know, April thirtieth is when the stay-at-home thing ends. Hopefully, you can get get a you know get a grasp on it by then. Because right. we got to be able to enjoy the lovely things in this stupid little mini school virus ruining everything here. Right, and it's like what's what's crazy is that. Um, like, I'm lo- I just lost my train of thought. Um, <laughs> um, oh, like you said, the, the um, closure, I mean, the lockdown was to last till April 30th. But it's like, just like how they extended the closure of the parks, the same thing might happen to the lockdown. So it's like, I feel like this is gonna be an on and on thing. We won't. I feel like nobody will really know until it's done and over with. Exactly. Because oof. so, everyone, please stay at home. Because <laughs> if you don't, you're just making this much worse for everyone. Worse, yeah. It's like, ooh, like the sooner everybody just stays at home and <laughs> stops spreading the virus, then we can go back to living our normal lives. <laughs> exactly. You see those spring breakers in Texas and the. Florida, they're spreading the virus because they're all at the beaches the whole time. Terrible. Right. Absolutely right. terrible. And um, it's like, nobody, the people that are complaining about closures, you can't, you can't complain about the closures and not being able to do nothing when you're the reason why they're closed. <laughs> exactly. What? Who's at the doorbell? Oh, I think there's a Oh, <laughs> we just got a package. But real quick, uh, before we do anything, smile here, because uh, this is going to be the, the thumbnail here. So, three, two, perfect. Oh, all right, George, you need to do that. No. Let's, let's see, what was this? All right, so continue on. So, you know, with all these things closed, all the theme park companies, their stocks are dropping big time. Man, <laughs> their financials are doing terribly. So what projects from all the chains do you think may be scaled back or canceled? As far as parks? Yeah, from all the theme park chains. Um, I think that, like, the big projects that are still taking a long time, those will be like, not, I don't think, here's what I think. I don't think none of them will be canceled. I think most of them will be delayed for a long time. The one, uh, the only ones that I think will be canceled are the ones that are not, I see it's like, because most of the projects that are being worked on are already either at 50% or just right at 50% or past 50%, like at 70%. So it's like I don't think they'll go the 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 way go as far as stopping it from being done because most of the projects are already fifty percent done. Mm-hmm. So now which be, one? It, it, I I feel like it take it would take more work to take it down and cancel it than it would to just finish the project. Now which ones that are on the drawing board on your wish list that you think might be delayed or canceled? Um. Any wish list, when anything you're really looking forward to that hasn't started that potentially could be on the drawing board that are you fear maybe a on hold or pushed back? Um, possibly uh, Runaway Railway, the uh, Toontown Runaway sure. Railway. Okay. Well, I think that one's pretty good because that one's already that one's a has a crane on site. They're already in construction there, but I think more like you know maybe like a Tomorrowland renovation. You know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That will or possibly like, be pushed back for a yeah, while. Yeah, or maybe even the Avengers E ticket. You know, they they not the first phase, but that second phase because that's currently still just a parking lot. No, a little scared for that one because I we've been waiting so long for that one. Mm-hmm. Well, Tila, that's another thing. Because the first phase is about to be done, mm-hmm. and 
part of the first phase is the show building, not the show building, but the um, the queue building for the e-ticket. Mm. I don't think they'll cancel it. I think it's just going to be a while before we actually see it. I because, know, that's terrible. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's better than canceled. And, right. uh, let's see, what else? Uh, and, uh, ooh, maybe a potential uh, fan stand expansion. That, that may be a pushback yeah. as well, unfortunately. Now, Six Flags, as you saw, no, is setting up for their new attraction in 2021. Do you think they'll have enough financial capital to build it? With their stock mm. price take, I don't think, I don't think they will. Um, it because I think they were what they were depending on mm -hmm. was the opening of West Coast Racers and how well that did, and then mm -hmm. going into twenty twenty one and the end of all of twenty twenty, profiting off of that ride. Mm -hmm. But because of the closure, all, almost half of this year they can't profit off of that ride, so it's like. Not only are they not making that extra profit from that ride, they're not making profit from no ticket sales, no nothing. So it's like exactly, they're, or even they're, the memberships, right? Um, and I think you know it was a good idea to upgrade everybody's passes for free, but that sets them back because financially that does set them back by upgrading everyone's passes to a higher value mm -hmm. that's meant for a higher price, but we're getting it for a lower price. So yeah, like, exactly. So we're so they're losing out on uh, hundreds of dollars, hundreds of thousands right. of dollars, because um, I have the gold and I got up against a platinum. I don't know what the price difference is here. Let me see. Right, because I had platinum and then they got upgraded to diamond. Six flags. Let's see. Let me check the memberships. Oh, the others. Oh, right, this website's hard to navigate. Except, you, except you want to buy something. I. Mm. Uh, so the gold is. Why did I feel like I paid more than that? Seven eighty-five per month. <laughs> All right. Well, the gold's apparently seven eighty-five per month. Even though I feel like I pay more, I feel like I pay eight ninety-five. Whatever. Mm -hmm. So I got upgraded to platinum, which is ten dollars a month. Oh, okay, so it's only a dollar more. Let's see what benefits I just got. Let's see, I now get a one a skip one ride line every visit. Diamond, wait, what? Oh, I got diamond preferred parking. Oh, one time diamond preferred parking. I like that, and a one digital ride for and the drinks. So I like the drinks and the parking. Wow, and you got you got upgraded to diamond. Yeah, I got upgraded to diamond. Well, so you get looks like the preferred parking. Um, all the time you get free fight fest haunted house, premium seating at shows, a free s'mores kit, and you get priority water park entry with a diamond area water park access. Look at you, fancy! Yeah. I don't pay for that. My dad does, but hey. <laughs> well, even if you people. did, it's only twelve eighty five per month, which is not too bad. Like, let's see, and you get thirty five percent off on the food and the drinks. <laughs> nice. Now tell me, how much of this stuff do you actually use? Huh? How much of this stuff do you actually use? Oh. On the call. Yeah. All right, go ahead. What'd you say? Then, how much of that uh, membership stuff do you actually use? Um, well, this is my first time being a member for Six Flags. So um, I haven't got to use none of it, actually. Yeah, this same my here. It's my first time. The only ones out here are uh, <laughs> the admission and the, uh, well, that's it. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's see, but uh, unlimited soft drinks. I'm excited for that. That's very nice. And that's another oh. thing. I came out here with the pass that I was like, I'm so excited to use it for my first time. And I didn't even get a chance to use it. Wow. But <laughs> I, I have Diamond now, so <laughs> hopefully when things open back up. And I feel like because of everybody's pass is being upgraded, the day Magic Mountain does open back, it's going to be real crowded. 
<laughs> yes, I agree. That should definitely help him out, no, big time. Uh, See, I think that's what they. I think that's what that's another thing they thought about was like we're gonna take the risk of of um. I think it was like a, a like a decision they had to make. It was either keep it how it is and use the money that we have to build a new ride, or just take the risk and just upgrade everybody's passes, and then we'll just push back the ride to another year. <laughs> no, yeah, that's a definitely good point. Now, what ride do you think that will be? Uh, I think um, I think it'll be another DC coaster. Something, oh, yeah, another, for sure. another, another hero or mm -hmm. villain. Um, which one? I'm not too sure. But because the the room, the space that was made is in the DC Universe area, is easy to assume that, that there's going to be something replacing that. <laughs> now, what type of coaster do you think it'll be? If a coaster at all? Mm. Hmm. Mm, I mean, right. there was Putting space the made. There was space made, but I don't think it was enough space made to make another coast. I think it'd be something similar to Batman. Oh, Batman, like, yeah, oh, okay. that's, that's a pretty compact. Not the, I, don't, I don't think they'd make the same exact style of that coaster, but like mm -hmm. the same size, like coast, yeah. coaster length. Coaster length, it'd be around that size because there's not, there's not enough room to make a whole large coaster. Yeah, and that's compact one. I definitely agree there. And the way the markers were lining up, it looked like it was uh, going to be one of those <laughs> power splash coasters. You've seen one of those? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the one that was there with the tidal wave, right? Yeah. The world, right, right over there. The, the Aquaman, uh, uh, Six Flags Fiesta Test, Texas. <laughs> Got the Aquaman one. Might be a nice clone mm. of that or something like that that'd be pretty cool and i mean uh, i mean that'd be a good idea i just hope that because you know that was the whole big hoorah with tidal wave like when they first came around it was like oh tidal wave is so much excitement or a splash coaster and now it's just like ghost town like it, it never opened there's always <laughs> something wrong with it so it's like if they bring aquaman power splash ride Bring it, but make sure that you have the resources to maintain it. Don't just let it sit and rot. And then I feel like Tidal Wave is like a seasonal thing. Like it's only open mm -hmm. certain time. Like if you're going to open a coaster like that, make sure it's always open and it's maintained. I think what will help is that you don't make it just strictly like a boat go up, turn around, drop. I think mm -hmm. it should be on a, a coaster, like an actual coaster. The boat is on a coaster and the drop, the, the splash is still a splash. So you still get all the water, but it's just you're on a coaster. So that's, I feel like being on a coaster is easier to maintain than just, you know, the, the, the water and cracks and stuff in the, in the, um, the pool or whatever. Mm -hmm. Well, also, uh, Tidal Wave, I sat in the front row multiple times and I never got wet, which is very funny. Yeah. Now I'm gonna like show that. you something here. I'm gonna share our screens. Um, see if this works. Oh, there it is. And this, my friend, is a uh, is what we're rumored to be getting. Let's see. Uh,
Jasmine, what do you think? Jalen, what do you think? That seems like things like that. That seems perfect in that area because mm-hmm. that's you can maintain that. That's this is it really is just a roller coaster. That's all it really is with a splash effect at the end. So that's something simple that they can maintain and they don't have to worry about it just sitting there and riding to it to death. Exactly. Like, wow, that's fantastic. Um, so hopefully that eventually comes through. Um, now, what will be the first theme park that you go to when they all open? What's the first one you're racing to? Um, if I have money saved, I'm going to go to Disneyland. Ah. If, if, if I'm just floating on what I got, I'm just going to go to Magic Run because that's what I have a password. So it just all depends where so I'm So when you go to these places, are you going to go? <laughs> are you going to go with the. <laughs> Caution, are you gonna if someone coughs or sneeze, are you gonna like jump? Uh, not really. Who's that? We have a special, special, special guest. We have Jalen's mother in the back, right? <laughs> That's because one of the cats got into the meat, the sausage left up. You know, oh, yes, yeah, another story about those. I had two cats and they ate my food, and then we turned into <laughs> Um, they, and they didn't, they didn't make, there wasn't easy accessible. They hopped on a bar stool, then they hopped on a bar to eat my rice. My mom was very upset. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so your cats ate what? The, the sausage that we have for breakfast. Man, you're going to take them back to the vet now? Uh, they'll be fine. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, it probably be it probably most likely would be Magic Mom. Um, nice, nice. And how is um is your girlfriend excited to go to these places with you? Um does she have a Magic Mom yeah. pass too or just No, she doesn't. She only has a pass to knots. Oh, that's a good place. Oh, I'm surprised you don't have one. You used to have one, didn't I, you? No, I, I have one. I still have one. Oh. Wow. I just wouldn't, it, that, that just wouldn't be my preferred location. <laughs> he said, no, no, not yeah. going to not today. Oh, man. How much is a pass to not? I was really thinking, I'm still thinking um, of getting one. My, I get paid 13, they, they charge me 1350 oh, for the, the regular pass. bad at all. In fact, let's check mm-hmm. the uh, not passes out here. Let's see. Share the thing again. Not very far. Oops. There we go. <laughs> Tickets. Or season pass, which is okay. Oh, yes. Look at this. So, 1350. Here it is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Initial payment of $20. And then thirteen fifty. That's not bad. That's the one hundredth anniversary. No mm-hmm. logo here. And the gold pass. Another crown jump. Wow! And the platinum pass with free parking. I see. I see. And this one you can pay. Oh no! You can uh, so you can you can pay them all without the monthly payments. I like that. I just paid the hundred and one dollars straight up. I see that. So let's see what you get. Let's see. Um. They're closed on Christmas, huh? Interesting. Is that always the case? Um, Ashley, let's get out of here. So she's just get to visit, but especially just get some food. Hotel stays. You ever stay in the hotel? Um, no, actually, hmm. I know they have a basketball court. <laughs> no way. Yeah, they do on the backside of it. 
Early entry to select rides during the summer. Do you take advantage of this? Uh, I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Now you know. Now you know. Plus discounts on food and merchandise. Wow. And not the scary farm. Which one did you like better? I don't know if I asked you this. Not the scary farm or horn nights or fright fest? Uh, for sure, fright fest is last on my list. Um, oh yeah <laughs> the janitor <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. tell the story to the people about this janitor um so i went to fight fest and it just wasn't scary at all so i was already i was like 13 i was still a little boy i was still scared of a lot of things but for some reason i was there and i was just like not scared like the environment was not scary like, of, the, of course, the idea was to be scary, but, like, nothing was really scaring me. So I was already just, already, like, I was cool. So um, I can't really remember the what we were doing, but we were sitting up against the queue bars, uh, the queue line for um, the Wonder Woman ride. There was nobody in line because nobody could get on the ride. So we were just sitting there. I forgot what the reason was for, but we were sitting there. Um... This was a scare actor because he definitely had a costume on. He banged on the rails with a broom and a dustpan and was like trying to scare us. And me and my cousin looked at him and was like, uh, okay. Like we didn't flinch, we didn't do nothing. I was like, at that moment I knew this is the worst Halloween event I've ever been to, where they have scare actors approaching you with brooms and dustpan. Wow, so, yeah. that was it. That's <laughs> that story is still funny to this day. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, thank you for coming on here, Jalen. Taking your lovely busy time out of your busy schedule. I know you're doing. You have such yeah. a full schedule doing nothing today, like everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> so where can these lovely people find you? Um, as far as social media? Yeah. Unless you don't um, want you to find me on you. No, no, you find me. Um, my Twitter is very dry. I only have like 43 followers. Um, I don't Maybe he could drop a link or something because I don't know off my head what my Twitter is. But I know um, my Instagram is Mizzy, M I Z Z Y um, underscore G dot O dot A dot T dot. Ed. Then, I have been meaning to ask you what that means. Mizzy, well, because a lot of people call me um, J Mizzy for some odd reason because my first letter of my first name is J and then the first letter of my last name is an M, so they say J Mizzy. And uh, then Goat is just because of Goat, whatever, I'm the Goat, whatever, I don't know. <laughs> so that's how that went. And then my Snapchat is J A M O Swag. I wish I could change my Snapchat name because I made that in middle school and it's just the most ugly thing. <laughs> I would have to make another Snapchat and I do not feel like doing that. Well, you heard him. Go follow this boy. He has the latest and greatest theme park vlogs. Don't worry, he doesn't, but he's going to make some. You got a YouTube channel, you said you're jump. Where is it? Yeah, I just I've been so like busy. <laughs> I guess what now you have nothing to do. Yeah. Absolutely I mean, nothing. What kept fun I, do you have? I mean I suppose I could start. Suppose I'm still, like, you're not doing anything for a month. Yeah. Encourage this guy to mean. start a YouTube channel. Okay. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I need an iPhone, particularly one yeah. that's an eight or higher. Boom, you're good to go. What's your iPhone? I have an XR. So you have a oh, you have a better phone than me. Yeah. So you can do it. Yeah. Start it now. Make some extra. Move on. Get famous. Say yes. I will do so. <laughs> Good, good. All right, everyone, please subscribe.